ever since the dream meeting of 2020, the Minecraft community has been incredibly torn. Mob votes are the cause of this, three options and only one winner. So people are gonna be let down if theirs doesn't win. This video will be out before the 2023 mob vote, so I won't have any way of knowing which mob has won. I'm also not gonna be sharing what mob I'm going to be voting for because things online have gotten heated so fast over the last few years with these things, and also because I don't want to get my hopes up again. I won't ever forget you. The crab. The crab is really cute and would help builders out so much. It would also add a bunch of spice into the mangrove biome because honestly, how many of us just come here to get mud? I don't know how the mechanics are gonna work where it helps you reach farther while building, but I swear to God, if it is like a grappling hook, I think we would all love that. I also just can't wait to see them scuttling from side to side if they get voted in. Plus who doesn't want a mud crab after you 24 seven? The armadillo. The armadillo drops scoot, which can be used to give your dogs armor. But this, this is huge. People have been asking for wolf upgrades or armor for at least a decade now. Also, adding some new features to biomes that are often forgotten like the acacia is always a cool touch. The penguin. The penguin is super helpful. For players seeking a perfect spot to start their base, or even when you just run out of rockets when exploring, penguins can boost your boat's speed and it adds something to the Stony Shores biome that have really been neglected since their creation of 1.18. I think it goes without saying that all of these mobs are really cute and whichever one gets added in will help a biome that has been severely neglected. And Mojang, if you're listening, please just add in all of the mobs. I know a voting system makes people feel heard and can help shape the experience of the game, but Minecraft is also the most grossing game of all time. As much as we want to have community input, the game is far too large now to have input in real times from players with no hate being shared online. Heck, I've already seen people online getting harassed by one another for not liking the crab as much as someone else, or someone prefers the penguin or the armadillo. It's just so much unnecessary hatred in the community, and I honestly think it's pulling the game down a little. And I get it, online, anonymity, you know, it's easy to be mean. Also, this goes without being said, but buds, make sure you vote based off of what you think will be the best, coolest, cutest, whatever. I can't wait to see what else will be announced in Minecraft Live this year, and I'll catch you guys then. But buds, for now, remember to join the village today. It's only a click away.